So the first thing that you want to do when buying a CO2 laser is upgrading the water chiller. The funny thing is the CW3000 is not a water chiller. So the CW3000 is just a water pump. It's going to circulate the water at the ambient temperature of the room. Now this is okay for lower wattage machines, 60 watt, 50, 40, lower, you'll be okay with. However, if you are in an area where there's extreme temperatures, you may still want to get a water chiller or if you run your machine for long periods of time. Now, when you're looking at water chillers, you can look at the CW5000 or the 5200. Those are legit water chillers that will actually chill the water for you. And the main reason for wanting to chill your water is think of the beam of light going through the tube. It heats up the glass. So you need some way to cool that to prevent the glass from cracking. And that's what the water chiller does. Now, when you buy the 60 watt Ohm Tech laser, it comes with basically a DIY little pump. It's basically a fish aquarium pump that circulates the water. This is not sufficient for a laser. So you can't get away with that for a 40 watt laser like the K40, you'd be okay with that. But anything more than that, definitely get at least the CW3000 to circulate the water, keeping it consistently cool. The other cool thing about water chillers is they have a digital display. So you can always monitor the temperature just by glancing at it. The other cool thing is it has an alarm. So if the water ever drops below uh, a certain level, or if you have a program for a certain temperature, it will automatically notify you and let you know to check it. So the temperatures that you're trying to keep is anywhere from 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 to 21 degrees Celsius. Anything more than that and you risk the tube cracking. Now, on the other hand, if it gets too cold, you could risk that it freezes and also cracks. And in some cases, in areas where it goes below freezing, you do risk that. And you can put in a solution from Ohm Tech that is pretty much antifreeze to keep that from happening. Now, if you're getting an 80 watt, 100 watt, and you're thinking about getting the CW3000, just think of this. If you haven't looked at the price of your tube, your CO2 laser tube, what the replacement cost is, could be anywhere from four, five, six hundred dollars or even in thousands. So go ahead and invest in a good water chiller to prevent that from happening. That way you don't have to buy a brand new tube out the gate. But do your own research. Take a look at these water chillers. See how long you're gonna be running your machine see what type of temperatures you're looking at if you're in an area that has extreme temperatures and whether or not you need to go with a chiller based on your wattage or if you can just go with a 3000 which is pretty much a water pump and if you want to know more about the 60 watt ohm tech laser be sure to check out this video